Hello everyone, I'm Nick DiVirgilio, and these are Mapex Saturn Evolution Drums. The Mapex Saturn Evolution series of drums come to you in a few different ways, utilizing a few different types of tone woods, with walnut being the common denominator in all of the drums. Now I'm sitting behind the walnut and maple version of the drum kit. It's a five piece shell pack, two rack toms, two floor toms, and a kick drum, but there is a matching snare. I have the walnut matching snare here, which is a six and a half by 14. So if you want a matching snare, you can totally do it, but there's a ton. I mean a ton of great Mapex snares out there. All that being said, let's hear the sound of the Maple and Walnut Saturn Evolution drums. Out of the box, the drums come outfitted with Remo coated ambassador drum heads. Professional drum heads, probably the most used drum head in all of the world. You get a 10 by eight inch rack tom, a 12 by nine inch rack tom, 14 by 14 and 16 by 16 inch floor toms. The snare wires are off, here's how they sound.
ton of beautiful sustain on the floor tom and all the drums actually. Now, the drums are wide open. There's no dampening at all. There's a dampening system that Mapex has put on the tom mount. We'll get to that in just a few minutes, but right now the drums are completely wide open and have a really cool musical tone. I'm going to put the snare wires on right now so you can hear a little bit of the buzz in the background. Here we go. Very nice, beautiful, musical tone to these drums. Now I can tell you from years and years of experience playing Mapex drums that they work beautifully in the recording studio and on the live stage. My whole professional career before I started working here at Sweetwater, I played Mapex drums exclusively. So I used them on tons of tours, lots of sessions, made lots of records with Mapex drums, and they work great all of the time. Now I encourage you to check out different head combinations like I always do when I do drum kit demonstrations here because you know, two-ply heads, thicker heads, different things like that will change up the sound of these gorgeous drum shells. And that might be the sound you're looking for, but if you want the nice, wide open, just punchy maple sound with a little bit of warmth of the walnut in there, these heads work great. And there you go. Now on to the kick drum. It's 22 by 18 inches deep, big fat sound. I have a tiny bit of dampening on the inside, just a little bit. There is a hole in the front head. I'm using the Mapex Falcon double pedal with the felt beater, and you have a Remo Power Stroke 3 clear drum head. Nice and punchy sound. Here's what it sounds like. Definitely pushing low end, nice snap to the sound. It's definitely gonna cut through on a live stage for sure. Let me put the snare wires on and do the same thing. I dig the sound when I play it nice and soft. You really hear the low end still in there. It's a nice pillowy sound. And then when I punch it really hard, the accent really stands out. Now, if you play this drum with a solid front head without the hole, maybe no dampening at all, you're gonna get a nice boomy sound out of it. So you try that too. Like I said earlier, the shell pack does not come with a snare, but there is a matching Saturn Evolution snare. And I have the maple version here. So again, it's maple and walnut wood. It's six and a half by 14. Really sensitive, very easy playing. Here's what it sounds like. First the snare wires off and then I'll turn them on while I play. Here we go. One thing I can tell you, I don't know if it's coming across in your speakers at home, but this is a loud snare drum. It's got crack and beef and body, and it's a lot of fun to sit behind it here and just hit it hard. It really gives a lot back to the player. It's very cool. All right, now let me play all the drums together so you can hear what they sound like in context. Here we go. Super fun to hear and very musical, really nice drums. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, there's a few different flavors of the Mapex Evolution drums. These are the maple and walnut version. There's also a birch and walnut version, and here's what they sound like. Well, there you go, it's like magic. 
I'm now sitting behind the Birch version of the Mapex Saturn Evolution drums. They look exactly the same, but they are different. And they look exactly the same because it's the same iridium silver finish. There are different finishes in the Saturn Evolution line. You don't have to get silver if you don't like silver, but these are really gorgeous. And the only difference, the way you can tell that they are the Birch or the Maple version of the drums is on the badge, this beautiful Mapex badge, which is right there. It says it right on the badge. It says Birch right there, Birch and Walnut. Cool, punchy sound. Now, if you're not hip to Birch, you should be because it's a really cool tone wood. Birch adds a little bit of high-end, mid-range bump to the sound of drums. It just gives them a little bit more oomph in that frequency range. Frequency, Freak frequency. And just gives them a little bit more oomph in that frequency range. <laughs> With that being said, let's check out how they sound. Same exact sizes, 10 by eight, 12 by nine in rack toms, 14 by 14, 16 by 16 in the floor tom. The snare wires are off and here we go. Beautiful resonance and sustain in the floor tom, just like with the maple. But to my ear, you definitely get a little bit more of that bump in the high end. It's a really nice sound. I tuned these drums where they went naturally. I didn't spend a long time tuning them because it was really easy. A couple turns here, a couple turns there, and it just sounded good to my ear. And again, different head combinations can change the sound of this kit as well. You get the Remo Coated Ambassador on the Birch drums, just like you do on the Maple and Walnut drums. Snare wires on, here we go. Now, if you don't want that much sustain in your drum, pitching it up a little bit higher will take some of the sustain away. And you can dampen the drum if you want, but you're gonna take away some of that beautiful resonance. On to the kick drum, same size, 22 by 18. Same dampening as I would had on the maple version of the drum and the same clear Power Stroke 3, same kick pedal, everything's the same. Just you get a birch and walnut drum. Here's what it sounds like with the snare wires off. Definitely punchy and round and has a nice snap to it. Put the snare wires on and do the same thing. Nice and punchy, really cool sound. Now I have a matching snare here, just like in the maple version. This is the birch version of the matching snare. And this is a five and a half by 14. The maple version I had in the back is six and a half by 14. Again, birch and walnut, here's how it sounds. Being that this drum is five and a half instead of six and a half inches deep, I tuned it up a little bit higher. You got a great crack. It's loud, just like the other one, but it just has that, that higher pitch to it. Now let me put all of these drums together. Here we go.
All right, this is the third setup in the Saturn Evolution drums. This is the Saturn Evolution Organic Rock setup, and they're calling this their hybrid setup. You get a three-piece shell pack, two rack toms, and a kick drum. The rack tom and the floor tom are the birch version, and you have a maple and walnut kick drum. Now, why are they doing this? Well, they wanted to offer you something different because when you're in the studio, you know, it's not uncommon in the studio to use toms from this drum kit and a kick drum for that drum kit and a snare, a completely different snare drum and a whole variety of cymbals to record a song because you're setting up the sound of the drums to fit the song you're recording. So again, it's not uncommon to change up the sound of the drum kit. You don't need to have the same brand, the same exact model of drums. Changing up the sound could be really fun and very creative to kind of inspire you to play something different and just uh, make the song sound good. You need to play to serve the song. That's really important when you're in the studio. And Mapex wanted to give you an option with this hybrid setup here. You get a nice punchy tom sound from the birch and walnut, and you get a big fat kick drum sound from the maple and walnut. I put back the maple and walnut snare drum just to kind of round out the drum kit here. But this is what these drums sound out. But this is what these drums sound out. Sound out? But this is what these drums sound. <laughs> My brain. This is what these drums sound like. Now the difference is slight, but there is a difference. The punch does come out in these toms from that birch wood. I think it's a good time in the video to point out that there's other component parts you can get with the Mapex Evolution drums. If you want an eight inch tom or some other size drum, a different size kick drum, you can buy that drum in whatever version you want and add it to the kit and kind of have a hodgepodge setup to really add to your musical inspiration. We're gonna to get to the hardware on this Saturn Evolution kit in just a second here, but I wanna mention one more thing about the drum shells and their construction, especially the edge. They call it their Sonic Clear Bearing Edge. What the Sonic Clear Bearing Edge is, is a double cut. It's a cut on the outside and the inside of the drum. On the outside, it's a rounded over cut, and on the inside, it's a 45 degree cut directly to the inside of the drum. But where that cut is, is really important. They don't make the 45 degree cut at the outside of the drum shell. They make it right at the apex of the drum shell and that cuts in. And what that does is it makes it so the head seats on the drum perfectly all the way around. Because of that cut, you get great tuning range with these drums. You can tune them really high or really low. It doesn't really matter wherever your ear takes you. Now on to the hardware. You get the same hardware on the birch version and the walnut version. So we're gonna talk about it just while I'm sitting here. First thing I wanna show you is the beautiful Mapex lug. It's been a beautiful lug for a long time and it really stands out. And it jumps off these silver shells in a really nice way, I think. The hoops on the drums are called Sonic Saver Hoops. It's a triple flange too, but that third flange, which usually bends out away from the drum, actually bends in towards the center of the drum. And it just saves your sticks from lots of wear and tear, and it adds to the resonance of the drum as well. The next thing we're gonna talk about is the tom mounting system. In the box, you get two tom mounts. You'll see that I have the mount mounted on the cymbal stand here. You get two of those for each of your rack toms. They come in the box. They call them their Sonic Clear Tom Mounting System. There's an air gap, like a hole, right here next to the ball joint. And what that does is it makes it so the sound and the resonance of the drum stays in the drum. A lot of times when you mount a Tom Tom to your cymbal stand, the sound actually goes down into the stand and on the floor and sort of dissipates and you lose some of that low end lusciousness because of that. This Sonic Clear Tom Mount System really keeps the drum resonating in its own space right here. It's a cool thing. The next thing I wanna talk about is the tom mounting system and they're calling this the halo mount. About halfway down the drum, you can see it connects to the bottom of some of the tom lugs right here. Four lugs it connects to, one, two, three, four. It's very easy to get the toms on and off. It's easy to change the heads because you don't have to mess with the tom mounting system because it's mounted at the bottom of the lugs rather than the top, so you can change heads very easily. It's easy to place the drum around 
and it makes the drum resonate in a really cool way. The vent hole is just below the tom mounting system right here, and they also have a resonance knob right at the top here. You can loosen it all the way or tighten it all the way, and it just takes the tom mounting system away from the shell a little bit to just add or take away some of the resonance sort of like you're dampening the drum without putting any dampening on the drum head itself. I have the knob turned all the way clockwise. It's as tight as it can go. And it's touching the drum shell a little bit. Here's how the tom sounds. Still resonating, still some decay, but it's a little bit less. Now I'm gonna turn it all the way counterclockwise and let's hear what it sounds like. Could you tell? Did you hear the difference in the sound? A little more resonance, a little more sustain. It's a very nice, innovative design. A couple more things to mention on the hardware in these Saturn Evolution drums. The floor tom legs. Mapex has thought of everything in their hardware designs here. In the rubber foot at the bottom of the floor tom leg, on the inside is an internal cotter pin, which is basically letting the floor tom float. It's not actually touching the ground. Again, adding to the resonance of the drum. If you have some of the old school floor tom legs on your drums, it works the same way as I was talking about the rack tom being mounted on the cymbal stand. The drum could send the sound through the floor tom legs into the ground and you lose the low end oomph of the drum, especially in your bigger floor toms. With this pedestal floor tom leg, it leaves all of the sound in the drum. Beautiful, well-working kick drum spurs on the Mapex Saturn Evolution drums. Nice rubber line claw hooks that hold on these hoops beautifully and look really cool too. The last thing I wanna mention about these drums, and it's just a nice visual feature, is the badge, the big Mapex M. It really stands out against this beautiful silver finish, and it's also where you can tell if you have the maple or the birch version of the drums. There you have it, everybody, the Mapex Saturn Evolution series of drums in three different flavors. You can get the maple and walnut five-piece shell pack, the birch and walnut five-piece shell pack, or the three-piece hybrid shell pack with birch and walnut toms and a maple and walnut kick drum. All very cool drums, they all sound great, and you're gonna have a lot of fun playing these. If you want any more information about this Mapex product or any other Mapex product, just contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for joining me today, everybody. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Click right here for more videos just like this one or start at Sweetwater.com for all your music instrument and pro audio needs.